This recording is being prepared by Boston Air Route Traffic Control Center. The subject concerns a Freedom of Information Act request involving UFO sightings on November 18, 1995 at approximately 0323 Coordinated Universal Time. The agency involved in this UFO sightings is Boston Air Route Traffic Control Center. I hereby certify that the following is a true recording of the original recorded transmission pertaining to the subject UFO sighting. Uh, we are also curious about it, and uh, is it possible that there might 
3179 on February 28, 1996. I hereby certify the following is a true recording of original recorded transmissions pertaining to the subject UFO report. Excellent, Cleveland National 5959. We see traffic out there on 12.1 o'clock, a lower altitude. Do you, do you have them there? Air Shuttle 5959, that's a negative, sir. I don't have anything out in front of you at 12 to 1 o'clock. Okay. He's down well below you, or do you, can you get an, out, uh, an estimate on an altitude on him? Well, it's uh, real difficult. Uh, we're in between layers here. I'm just going to estimate him two to three, two thousand feet below us, maybe, and uh, so sort of pulsating right about, I don't know, 10 miles down. Hard to tell. Okay, Air Shuttle 5959, I'll keep my eyes open, but I don't see anything. Is that northwest of Detroit? Did you see that light? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I saw it, a real bright white light, sometimes flickering uh, underneath the clouds. This, this is where I saw it. Air Shuttle 5959, is that traffic uh, that you saw earlier, do you see him out there any longer? Yeah, Air Shuttle 5959, uh, that's primitive, and it's a light that kind of, it goes dim and it gets bright. I don't know if we'll get closer to it or what, but it looks like a rotating light around it, like a, uh, like a frisbee type thing that's going around it. Yeah, so. Basava 3179, do you see the same thing? Uh, sir, I saw it coming out of Detroit. I wondered, uh, all I saw was just a couple real bright flashes of light, and it, it almost looked like lightning, and it caught my eye, and then I kept watching it, and then it looked a little bit less bright, but it looked like it was underneath the cloud deck to me, and this was just as we were coming out of Detroit. Okay, and the, the, can you get an altitude on it at all? The light that I saw was just like maybe, I don't know, 25 miles northwest of Detroit. Is that what you're referring to? Or are you talking about the light that's at our 12 o'clock now about 10 miles? Any kind of target out here at 12 o'clock? Oh, uh, we got some kind of white light out there at 12 o'clock, and the captain uh, says it's pulsating. Well, you don't it's it's like oncoming traffic, but it's just sitting about the same place that it's been the whole here for about 10 or 15 minutes. We've been watching it. Yeah, the air show 50 on 59. It looks like it's almost over Saginaw from our position. Okay, air shuttle 5959, contact Saginaw, approach control 126.45. I appreciate the information. 3179, that target looks like it's uh, below us. I would guess to make maybe 10,000 feet. Around 10,000 feet. Would, would you think it might be like a reflection, uh, maybe perhaps off a beacon, that for some reason it's just one of those weird things, uh, natural phenomena, that uh, you're getting a reflection? Because I got nothing out there. I don't know. I mean, we can see a clear, you know, relatively solid cloud deck uh, below us. And this is definitely a distinct whitish, uh, well, they're just looking a little red and greenish white, sort of pulsating, and it is consonant. It's not a beacon. And Cleveland, Air Shuttle 5959. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, hey, just to keep it advised, uh, we're descending to 4,000 feet right now, and as we descend it through 10,000 feet, that object is above us right now. It is not on the ground. It's about 10,000 feet. Okay. 
Okay, sir, I, we're checking on it right now. I still don't have anything out in front of you at all that I'm showing it. I appreciate you coming back to the frequency and let me know. I, I'll keep it right. I'll tell you what, that is weird. It's just getting up all big. Masaba 3179, where is it relative to you right now? 12 o'clock, sir. I'm trying to do a little investigating as to what this might be, and if you would keep me advised on this. Okay, sir, I'm going to point my lights on him and see if I can get any reaction on him. And 3179, was the other guy that saw that light, was he headed southeast bound or was he headed the same direction we're going? Well, he was inbound to Saginaw, and actually, when I sent him over to Saginaw, I expected that would be the last I heard from him. He came back up on the frequency and advised me that his clearance was down to 4,000 now, and that he, he said what he saw was a sill up above him, and it was like a red, he said it was a red and green light that was uh, pulsing and, like, rotating. And uh, he said he'd keep me advised and give us a report once he got into Saginaw. You don't have a camera on board, do you? We could probably get one from a passenger, you want us to ask? Yeah, I'd, that'd be kind of interesting to have a couple pictures. I think it uh, might make our case a little better. Okay, 3179, we got a passenger taking a picture of it right now. And, uh, we got a flight attendant who says that uh, they might have saw the same thing the other night. Masaba 3179, I copy that. Uh, Masaba 3179, when you flashed your lights, did you get any response? Didn't appear to, sir. Okay. Okay, Masaba 3179, I'm going to send you over to Minneapolis now, sir. Is it still out here 12 o'clock? Uh, negative, sir. It's at about our 2 o'clock now. We uh, made a turn. Okay, so it's off your off your right side about 2 o'clock. I'd sure be interested to see those pictures. Can I uh, get you an address that you might be able to send a copy if, if you guys get a copy of them? Yeah, sure, we can do that. And actually, uh, we made a right turn and he's off uh, about 10 to 11 o'clock. Okay, so he's off your left side. Okay. Okay, 32 9. We'll see. Uh, I wonder if those pictures will show anything. I'm including the Sabah 3179. The Sabah 3179, go ahead. Just for your information, I took the picture of the captain on the left side. I also took a trick, take some of the stars above. So the lowest light on those pictures, that only single light at the bottom of the picture should be the, what you're looking at. And you might be able to get a position with the star if you want to go that far. Okay, great. That's a good idea. I appreciate that. This has to be the picture of Kalmar, the, 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 the camera. Good night, sir. Good night.